Hi, I've already talked to you about trying to stay warm. Where I live in Montana, it gets really cold, but we used to live in Texas, and we did get hit with hurricanes. Our power was out. One problem and issue we had was staying cool. Now, after any hurricane, it's just blistery, smoldery, it's humid, and it's downright hot. So, I'm going to talk to you today about that. Now, what you're seeing now is a small 12-volt ceiling fan. They don't cost a whole lot. So, if you're a person that does not have a decent budget, or if you're a person that cannot afford something like a DCAC inverter to run a regular fan off of, one of these may be good for you. Now, I do have my small battery up there on the counter. I will show it to you. It is only a 60% charge right now. The battery is a bad battery. I also have a jump starter and I will show you different ways to use this 12 volt setup as far as your ceiling fan goes. And the reason I'm talking to you about this is because normally since we live in Montana like I said it doesn't get super hot but where we lived in Texas it did. Now these little fans cost like fifteen dollars you can hook them up to a car battery you can hook them up to a motorcycle battery if it's a 12 volt um, the little battery over there is actually from a scooter um, it was like a Honda scooter 50 cc and it's a 12 volt the battery pack of course is a 12 volt now these don't put out massive amounts of air because they are so small but when you're really hot this would actually work to cool you down okay um, like I said if you have a DCAC inverter you're probably going to be running a regular oscillating fan or a large box fan but if you can't afford an inverter and you want something to help you with control the heat a little bit one of these may be right for you all right, I apologize. I have to get in the way. Me, and my big belly here, um, and I want to show you a couple ways you can hook this up. Now, when I start this, it will jerk because I have it hung up on the vent, the oven vent, with a piece of metal clothes hanger. So, and when it starts, it actually jerks because it, it turns, and you'll see it and possibly hear it. All right, let me get over here. Here is the small battery I use for testing. Um, I don't know if you can see that. It says 60%. Alright. Here is the alligator clips, and it does come with these little alligator type clips, which I really wish it came with something larger than this. And here's the switch. It has a decent, probably six foot wire, maybe a little bit longer, um, maybe a little bit shorter. I actually haven't measured this, so I really couldn't tell you exactly how long it is. Now, I do also have out my 15 amp cigarette lighter plug. You do not have to have one of these. Alright, let's plug this in. There we go. And let's turn it on. And it's actually putting out quite a bit of air. This is running off of a small 12 volt ever start battery that came out of a scooter, a gas scooter. You can hook this directly up to a car battery. If you do, I'd hook it up to the smallest part you could because these are just small alligator clips. I would hook them up to the end of the bolts. Um, 
If you have to, you can scrape a little bit of insulation off some of the wiring, just right there where it connects to your battery, and, and hook these up if you're using this off a vehicle. But honestly, it'd just be easier to pull the battery out of your vehicle. And, you know, these are really small. So uh, you may want to actually have some type of battery terminal that you can hook these up to instead of trying to hook them straight up to the battery post themselves because battery posts are really big and these have a really small opening. Alright, here is my jump starter. It's just a cheap Everstart 750 amp jump starter. I actually don't think this thing's ever kicked out 750 amps. Um, basically I use this for an emergency. It does have a little air compressor on it. Really big clamps. Now the couple ways you can hook this up. One is directly with the clamps. Now, I have to be really careful with this because it is actually sitting on my metal stove which I don't suggest you do that and I have to make sure this does not touch anything which is going to be really hard for me to do and I want to make sure it doesn't like short out I hope you can see this. It's really hard to get these little alligator clips to make a good connection, you know, with these big old clamps. Um, if you're going to do that, move back the insulation down a little bit, or just take it off and just clamp it just like that. So you get a decent clamp on it. All right. Now I'm going to turn this on. And turn this on. There we go. If you're going to use one of these battery packs, I suggest you put some kind of clamp, a, a bigger clamp, or you know, tape these off. When you clamp it up, tape them off so they don't hit anything and short out. Or, let me get this off, wrap that up, or you can do what I would do. I would use one of these, clamp them up, and this I would actually just wrap some electrical tape around, and let's get that insulation back on there because I pulled it off for that, just slides off and on. And remember, you have to, you want to keep these wires separate. You don't want your positive to hit anything ground. So I'm going to wrap this around the handle of the battery charger, or the jump starter, excuse me. And that way I know it doesn't hit ground. Because this thing's made it strictly of plastic. go and I got it plugged in. I hope you can see that. It does kick out a decent amount of air. Um, so if you really need to get some air, these little bitty cheap fans will work really well. Like I said, if you don't have the money to buy a DCAC inverter and to run a regular fan, and I really hope you can hear me, um,
like I said, if you don't have the money to buy a DCAC inverter to run a regular fan when it gets really hot, this is something you may consider. I did run it off the small battery. I did run it off my jump pack, my jump starter. Um, this will actually run off of our bike generator if we're pedaling the bike. But if you have very little money or very little funds to prepare, if you have solar, yeah, you could run this forever. I mean, it draws next to nothing. Way less power than a regular fan does. So you could run it for a long, long time. And if you're a type of person that can't sleep when it's really hot or you're just burning up because uh, the power's out, having a one or two or even three of these little fans to where you could hook them up in different places or hook them up all pretty close to each other. They don't draw a lot of power. They put out quite a bit of air. And, you know, like I said, we bought this for an emergency situation. The blades do come off. They just pull right out. And there you go. Anyway, I hope this gives you an idea if you don't have a lot of money to prepare for certain things. Um, it does work extremely well for such a small unit. And like I said, if you don't have a DCAS inverter to run a larger fan, something like this may be right for you. Then again, it may not be. Anyway, I'll fix and go. Everyone have a good day.